Hey, you know what time it is? What time is it, man? The beat down! <laughs> Hey, welcome everybody to another episode of The Beatdown. I'm your host, Class. This is my co-host, Mr. J. And we're back at it again. And we listened and heard your concerns about what you wanted us to do next. And we decided we're going to do cartoons. And today's episode, we decided we're going to do a really good cartoons. We, we got... Real 90s. Yeah. Place. So we got a childhood memories here. I got Ripster from uh, Street Sharks versus... Who we got? Goliath from the Gargoyles. Yeah, yeah. So we got Ground versus Skies. It's going to be a pretty interesting fight. And I figured to, I'd, I'd go first on the argument and the sake for the situation. Um, now, when you look at the Street Sharks, they have incredible durability and incredible enhancement. Now, the reason why that is is because they were experimented on ordinary guys turned into really big, huge-looking mutated sharks. And now they can literally swim in the streets. The grounds we walk on and everything, yeah. they can run through like it's nothing. Ridiculous. And they can eat anything like nothing. Like it's a piece of paper or it's food. Like it's chowder. Um, so they are pretty tough. And they have... And you would probably get annoyed to have to deal with them because they have so many puns on like fish and all that stuff. That you may want to you want to throw down with them. So Ripster is no exception to that. But Ripster at the same time... is awesome. Is a <laughs> he didn't know they said that. Oh, man, yeah. my childhood has been ruined. I, I didn't remember that either. I love the action figures, though. Don't get me wrong. They were, all, they were amazing. Um, but Ripster is the leader of the group, and he is probably the smartest one of the group. And it's very creative, and he actually is very inventive. He can create things. So, um, given in a fight against an old relic, like... What's his name again? Glad Gladiator? Goliath. Goliath, Goliath sorry. Given the <laughs> Gladiator, Goliaths, um, what do you call it? And no, we're not talking about the Six Flags, right? Uh, <laughs> so when you got Goliath going against somebody like that, who's like kind of old and ancient, you got to remember, even though he is capable of reading and he is very adaptable to the environment, extremely. The street shark guy was born and raised in these streets, so he has a little more familiarity to the area. He's familiar to the territory. So, given into a situation where, it, where we're talking about an old school um, gargoyle going against someone who actually knows what he's doing in this current stage, he's gonna have a dis he's gonna have a disadvantage. He's gonna have an advantage against him. He's got the invention smarts. He's got the already knows the area pretty well situation. So, if he ever met Goliath and he actually had Goliath go down on. You know, this Ripster guy actually smart enough to probably figure it out. He's gonna have some capability to know that this that this is not gonna be just an easy foe. But at the same time, he also has his crazy incredible strength and durability and all this stuff. So he still has an upper advantage here. Even if Goliath decides to get a grip on him, those jaws gonna be hard to kind of fight against. You're not gonna just have yeah. him in the sky and try to fight him while he's clenching his jaw in your face. That's impossible, especially when you can rip your head off. Um, you can see the size of his mouth. Um, so obviously Goliath is going to want to keep it on the ground, but at the same time, not too on the ground because clearly Ripster can just grab him at any point and drag him down to the ground and eat through the freaking concrete and just carry him with him. And if he wants to, he can hit to a, a sewage pipe, bam, wind up in a water and actually just drag Goliath down through water and just kill him like that. Or if he wanted to, he could just... Just grab him in general and just beat the crap out of him. Look, Goliath is strong, but is he stronger than a mutated shark who can rip through concrete and metal and everything and eat through it like it's nothing? I don't think so. He's, there's Maybe. just so many disadvantages, I gotta say. There's a lot for Goliath, yes. Um, but Goliath has a lot of experience in battle and warfare. I think that is gonna give him a... Yeah, it's gonna give him an edge. Mm -hmm. In the environment, no. Environmentally, no. He's not gonna have a. He's not gonna have an edge because Ripster, obviously, he, yeah, he might know the city better, depending on what city it is. You have to take that into consideration. If it is in Ripker's hometown and in his city, yeah, he's gonna have an advantage. He's gonna know what things are. He's gonna know what certain you know roads lead and whatnot. But uh, if it is in Goliath's city, that could play out to his advantage. I think maybe what he should do is maybe keep him on, have the fight start off in a building. If he has to swoop down and pick him up and take him up to the building, maybe. Um, 
The reason for that being is because that way he can do some damage up yeah. close with his claws, which, he, by the way, he can tear through steel yeah. like it's nothing. You know, so Goliath is extremely strong in himself, and, you know, those claws are really mean. Man. Yeah. So, get in close, do some damage, you know, try to, you know, rip him up a little bit, and then, you know, if Ripster's weak enough, grab him and toss him off the building. You know, yes, they are durable enough to, you know, go through the street, but I don't know if he's durable enough to do that while plummeting from a skyscraper in a weakened condition. If he does survive, I think at that point, Goliath would just swoop down and just rip him up from there. But, you know, that's what I'm trying. That's my case. Yeah, I think, yeah, it all depends on turf. If you're in his, if you're going, to, if Goliath comes to his neighborhood, uh, it's it's obviously Ripster's, is Ripster's yard. You ain't going to get it. If he gets, if he's on the ground and Goliath comes to the ground to try to fight him, He's not going to have a very good advantage. At any point in time, Ripster can drag him down to the ground. And that's where Goliath has a disadvantage. Because, yes, he can, he has the ability to climb and everything like that. But he's not known to be dealing with ground situation environments most of the time. He's usually a flying type of guy. Uh, but if you go, Goliath com or Ripster comes to Goliath's neighborhood. Yeah, there's a problem. Because Goliath does have that castle. I believe he still lives in it. And he knows that place like the back of his head. So any given situation, all he has to do is carry Ripster to any part of the house and just have him throw down with him in there. He could throw up in the rooftop and yeah, he could beat him there because at the same time, Ripster's inability, his ability to thrive is through the groundwork. He's not going to be able to fight if he's in the ceiling. I mean, he can't just go underneath, he can't go through a ceiling. Because he's just going to have to keep going down. Yeah. And eventually that's not going to do anything. I mean, you know, he is incredibly strong and fast, but he cannot fly. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, it, I guess it all depends on... <laughs> I guess it all depends on what you... Uh, if uh, Ripster, what position he's in. Because if Goliath grabs him by the ankles and picks him up, then there's, uh, there's a win for Goliath there. Because obviously, you know, what is Ripster going to do while he's up in that situation? Um, but if Rips, like I said, it all depends on what hometown you're in. If Ripster has it in his place, he's got the win. If Goliath has it in his castle, he's got the win. That's really clearly all we can really say about that. Um, and if you don't know who they are, I mean, you, it's, it's, you should look up some 90s. I mean, you they're on YouTube. You never watched cartoons in the 90s. Yeah, we watched some really good ones. I mean, and they're, they're one, Street Shark was about, if you're not already aware, about sharks. But they're obviously marketing for toys, and the toys were dope. It was a huge marketing thing. Yeah. But then, uh, you know, when you think about the Gargoyles, too, it was a huge marketing thing, too, because they were awesome. Um, a lot of people... I, I love both shows. Um, but we're not... Look, we're talking about who would win in a fight. And at the end of the day, we already made our case. If you guys agree or disagree, no matter, you guys can leave it in the comment section below. Let Just us our, know. Give us opinion. a recommendation. Yeah. Uh, we do appreciate your recommendations. We're going to keep doing it on Instagram. We're going to ask you guys what you guys want us to do next. If you guys like this one, we'll do more cartoons. If you guys want us to do video games, you guys want us to do superhero comic books, you guys want us to do action star movies, we're going to give you those options. You guys get to vote on Instagram. You'll Gotta be finding out people what they want. So, as always, really appreciate you guys. Uh, catch you guys later. Peace. No magic words.